Hey, it's Joel. I've got a messy desk here. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I do have to clean it up because I have to shoot something else and it's currently 1230 at night and I leave for the UK in the morning and this could be a long night. But if I'm cleaning up, I might as well give you a status update about everything that's been going on right here on 3D Printing Nerd. <laughs> this is crazy. I have a trip to the UK in the morning. I've never been to the UK and I still have to pack and I have to clean off this desk and I've got one more thing to film before I go so we can have a video ready when I before I get back. Uh, but I got a lot of stuff up here. Stuff's happening. First, the UK. I'm going to the UK. I fly into Birmingham, I think it is. And then I get taken to Worcester, I think it is. Siemens invited me out because they have this additive manufacturing facility there in Worcester and they, they're they debuting something or there's it's open to the public or, or to journalists or something is going on. I don't know exactly what. They've said, Joel, do you wanna come out? And I said, yes, yes, I would like to come out. And I asked my wife and she said, it's okay. So I get to go out. But it also means that I have to get stuff ready. There are some things on this desk though that are that are kind of neat so I figured I would at least show those to you and we'll start here and we'll move to here. Picked up a power inverter, power converter for the UK so so that's good. Uh, I think I need that. Oh this is cool it's Magiku Pro Series demo kit. Polypropylene PP, it's polypropylene with glass fibers, it's polycarbonate and it's ABS. So it's Magigoo formulated for these different types of hard to stick down materials. I know Tom uh, over Tom's 3DP, Tom Sandladderer, he is having some on the way for himself as well. Maybe we'll compare notes. I think it'd be great. I do like Magigoo. They are a sponsor of the channel and I allow that because it works for what I want and I have good results with it. So. So they sent that and I'll get some tests done on it and I'll let you know if it works. I mean, granted, if I can just swab something on the bed and have polypropylene or polycarbonate stick down to the bed just fine. Yes, yes, please. Right here. Uh, oh, that's right. Um, Woot had uh, Amazon dots for sale for like 15 bucks and I found this uh, wireless Bluetooth headset. So. Christmas gifts for the family. Oh, look at this. These are my my scooter stands right here. I took them off the board so I can get some pictures of them. I thought that was a really fun video. We had a lot of fun. My kids love being involved in this sort of stuff. And so anytime I can include them, I always try to because it's a ton of fun and uh, they haven't broken yet. Not yet. Ooh, remember when I had to enlarge this and make this bigger for the OpenRC project? Well, I did. I did, so I don't I don't need that anymore. Oh, we also made these uh, scooter wheels. Remember this? This was a lot of fun, boy. Those had seen better days. I do have some other materials that I wanna try in and I have a different wheel design I wanna try. It's now the rainy season here in the Northwest where it rains for nine months, but, but I don't care because my kids like playing outside and if it's raining, I don't think they care. So there will be a part two of the scooter wheels. This is new. I was sent this for a review on the other channel. It is a DMX controlled uh, light. It, um, it does lighty things. Let's see if it'll, so those turn and then it should start up and make pretty lights. There we go. Maybe I'll turn it that way, put it behind me. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's bright, jeez. So there we go, it's just behind me making some lights. Now it's, it, it, in this mode it is voice controlled or it listens to music. So if I go, <laughs> that's more fun than it should be. I, need to find someone with a DMX controller and I think I have. So I will get a review done on this on the secondary channel, Technically Nerdy. Uh, it, 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 was a, it was like 30 bucks I think or something like that for a fun little light like this and it responds to voice. I mean, just imagine having this going. So that's coming up on the secondary channel, but for now, this gets put down 
on the ground. Oh, these are quite cool. I and a crew flew out to Boston to visit Gillette World Shaving Headquarters. And this is the razor maker. It's where a team within Gillette is making these 3D printed custom razor handles and they, they look kind of cool. Uh, I've got uh, a video coming out on that at some point in the near future. They had me come out and I got to hear the story of it, where it started, the innovations that are going on. It was kind of really, really cool to see behind the scenes and what they're doing there at Gillette. Uh, I made some friends over there. I can't wait to get back to Boston. That was a lot of fun. Look for that on the channel in the coming year. Uh, and then we've also got a really cool giveaway planned around this. Uh, I'll have to take a trip down to California for that, but that's in the future. Just know that this is coming up and we'll have a really cool Joelbot themed giveaway maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah, my laptop. I should, um, I was charging that for the trip. Good thing I got my power converter. My, uh, my, my play button. How did that get up here? <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Out of darts. Build a round of punished props. Academy and I went down and visited Luke from out of darts. That video went out. That was really popular on the channel. I saw that uh, a lot of people were really into it. And I can't wait to get into some Nerf mods. The Nerf community looks to be an, like an incredible community full of people who just love to have a bunch of fun. It seems like it's an activity <laughs> that could give me some exercise. And uh, I know I need some of that. So you might be seeing me sweating my butt off trying to impale people with these little Nerf rival balls or the Nerf darts. This was cool. Uh, go check out that video if you haven't yet. Luke is an amazing dude, runs a great workshop, and I got to learn a lot. Ooh, here we go. Clean slate. Got one more thing to show you. Yeah, let me go get it. <laughs> Six heavy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. <sighs> this is the world's largest open RC F1 car. And it ran. I mean, the batteries are still in there. That's why it weighs so much. Uh, I have a little update to tell you about. And that's what I need to film tonight. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Thanks for helping me clean off my desk, getting me ready to film this little video right here. Oh man, heck of a journey. A lot of good stuff going on. God, this was heavy. Thanks again for helping me clean off my desk right here. And thanks for getting this far in the video. If you did make it this far, you are awesome. A big thanks to everybody that subscribes and rings that bell. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love you guys. As always, high five. Tired. <laughs>